G'day everyone, today I am doing a EV test, just another test, because I always like to do tests. Um, today we're towing a boat test with the, <laughs> with the uh, Volvo XC40 and uh, the difference this time is it's a, a large boat and we're going to really see what the consumption is. We're going to try a couple of different speeds and we're going to charge up at the charges just to um, see what the consumption is. Um, the, the test track's going to be about 40 kilometres of highway driving. Okay, we're at the charger, just uh, topping up to 80%, so we have a reference point and uh, should only take about less than 10 minutes. Uh, been going a couple of minutes, we're at 74 already. So uh, once we reach 80, we'll throw on the boat and head up to the next charger and see how well we do. kilometers an hour average. We can't do the Just 90. wondering why this traffic was going slow. There you go, right there. <laughs> Lift it. Um, what is that? Four tons? Alright, we're at uh, BP at Caboolture and that trip was 69 kilometres per hour average for uh, just under 40 kilometres and uh, we consumed 38.9 kilowatt hours per hundred which is quite high but we're really towing a big boat, so. Okay, we've unhitched the boat. And here we are at the BP Pulse charger. You get 75 kilowatt on this one. Charging's underway. Here we are. And uh, we've used 20% in uh, the 40 k's that we've taken to drive here, so. That's a high consumption, but uh, we'll charge back up to 80% and then go back to the previous charger, try and go a bit faster and uh, see what our consumption is when we get to the other end. So thank you for joining me, Diego. Um, perhaps you could tell me a little bit about your normal consumption with uh, when driving the XC40, uh, just so uh, the viewers can have a comparison. Yeah, so to give you an example, I just said, uh a day ago I went down to the Gold Coast and that was 230 k's near Kulangata, three heads and uh, that was 19, 18.9 at the end of the day on the highway and that was roughly 100 to 110 19 kilowatt hours yep. on the case. And uh, did you, do you remember the average speed you were travelling for that? Was it mostly easy 100 kilometre driving? 19. 90? Yeah. Okay. Um, and uh, you bought the XC40 because you wanted to tow, and uh, that how did that compare to the other model, EV models that were available for towing so far? Yeah, there's not many models that tow the weight of the boat. The boat is 1.72, so 1.8 tons roughly, yeah. depending on the how much limit? fuel, how much water you have in there. Yeah. And the towing capacity is 1.8. Oh, it is. <laughs> yes. So you're right on the threshold. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. But the XC40, the normal model, has 2.2 tons. The all-wheel drive model diesel. Right. Okay. So, so it's the same chassis. It's the same towing uh, hook or towing um, yeah. bar, tow bar. And you don't just have a boat. You have a caravan as well, don't yes. you? Yes. Yeah. So, so we took you definitely need towing. Yes. So we looked at many models, and there's like the Audi and the model the e x yeah and the model x that have bigger towing capacities but all the rest have lower capacities like okay. one ton for the model three 
or 900 kilos even the Kona is 800 or something I, oh, think. I don't think Usually. you should tow with a Kona but that's, yeah, that's just right. my personal Some opinion <laughs> yeah. so there's not much choice that you have but so far it does everything we wanted to yep. and perfectly you know going down to Jervis Bay that was a 3000 K trip New South Wales and back that was fine and the range was around 220 Ks on that yeah. What is acceptable could be better, yes. but it's acceptable. You can do it when you're on holidays and have time. All right, uh, when we get back to our starting spot, we will um, crunch some numbers. Uh, hopefully we can get back there a bit faster this time. Uh, we don't want traffic. We don't like traffic. So uh, we will try and go a bit higher speed so there's a, a difference to compare. Okay, yes, well, let's do that. There we go. Stop now. 18.16. Good consumption. What's that? Uh, divide that by four times ten. <laughs> it's like uh, 45 kilowatt hours per hundred or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Keep going. Yeah. Yeah. All right, here we are at the EV Networks uh, DFO charger. We're um, just going to have a look at the consumption numbers now and what do we manage? 48.8 for a very similar distance, uh, maybe a tiny bit further but uh, we had a higher average speed. We averaged uh, 88. It was, we did travel more like 105 for most of that trip and then uh, just slowing down to come into the DFO it dropped from about a 99 kilometer an hour average down to 88 so just while we're waiting we've um, we've seen a BYD T3 which I've never seen before and here's a and a Mercedes EQB which I've never seen before this is a a place for rare sightings and even we've got a Honda Fev just getting a better shot we've got a Honda Fev here and a Model Y so you know there's EVs everywhere today there we are 80% 22 and a half kilowatt hours for 40 kilometers of towing. All right, a bit of a conclusion uh, to the video. Uh, we did the trip up the highway. We averaged around 76 kilometers an hour for the four first 40 kilometers to the EV trip. And uh, when we got there, we put in 18 kilowatt hours and that equals 45 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers or 450 watt hours depending on which number you like to use but we went faster on the way back and we did average 100 for a lot of it we were traveling at 105 so we did have that definitely higher speed uh, and when we got back, uh, the charger here has put in 22.4 kilowatt hours for the 40 kilometers. So an extra, or even more than four kilowatt hours just for the same trip. Uh, so you can tell straight away that that's much worse consumption. And that equals 56 kilowatt hours per hundred. So it's very thirsty, uh, but it is a large boat and this is probably some of the worst economy you can expect. Yeah. But uh, when you do the numbers on that, the, the battery size in this is 75, is it? Usable. 75 usable. And that equals towing a boat this size, uh, if 
at the lower speed you're going to get 150 k's and at the higher speed you can you can guarantee 120 uh, that's if you're using 90 percent of your battery so there is a bit of a leeway in there as well so i guess you can make that work uh, brisbane to the gold coast or brisbane to sunshine coast so that you know you've got the options to charge once if you're towing otherwise your consumption's half that isn't it normally so there you fall you're probably less, less, than, half. less than half yeah. okay so so what were you saying Tw about 20 kilowatt hours per 100 19, on the 19 or 20 normally so uh, yeah well we're seeing well two and a quarter well, two and a quarter times to to nearly two and a half times the yeah. consumption so yeah. it's not even i think we're coming in today to expecting it was about double but it's even a bit more than double yeah. when it's yeah. a big boat yeah. maybe smaller campers and that yeah, are, the camper are trailer is a, a bit more aerodynamic bit and uh double. not as much weight so yeah, yeah. Big, the bigger you, oh it's pretty obvious though isn't it the bigger yeah. thing you're towing the the worse your economy is going to be but um thank you very much for okay. your time mate yeah. uh that was very fun <laughs> and um, yes yeah, so it was also nice to see a few different EVs yeah, at the Charger definitely. so um, all right thank you very much and we'll see you on the next one. <laughs>